Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at some of the more advanced settings in Gmail. In your Gmail, you can access the settings by clicking on the settings icon in the top right hand of your screen. Then you'll see a box that says see all settings. Let's click on there. In your settings, you have a number of tabs across the top. First one we're going to just look at is general. There are lots of different options and I'm just going to highlight some of my key ones that you might want. The beginning, obviously, we're talking about language, so you can set your language settings here. I'm going to move down to page, maximum page size. I'm going to move down to maximum page size. That's where you can choose how many emails will appear on the page. Next, you have undo send. Um, and this means that once you send an email, basically Gmail will hold that email for the amount of seconds you've got here. You'll see a little box in your left hand corner that will actually say undo. And so in my case, that would be there for five seconds. And if for some reason I change my mind, I can click undo and it will retract my email. If you feel you need longer than five seconds, then you can change that here. Here we have some settings for some of the options in Gmail. You've got grammar, so you can turn that on and off, spelling the same, and autocorrect. So this is whether you want this help when writing your emails. You also have Smart Compose here. So Smart Compose will give you suggested words when you're writing. If you are writing and you want the suggestion, you can just click the Tab key and that will go to the end of the suggested sentence. Here we have Conversation View. You can turn it on or off. So Conversation View is where your emails are grouped by the subject line. Here we have nudges. Again, you can turn this on or off. And nudges are Google's reminder to you. So Google will pick up emails that you may have forgotten to respond to or that you are waiting a response from. And it will put a reminder for you at the top of your inbox. Stars are a great way of highlighting certain emails. Why you use them is really up to you. By default, as you can see here, I've got one star. I can use some of the presets, I can have four stars. But with all these icons, I can actually change them and move them around. So if I wanted my green tick box first, I can drag that there. So then when I click the star icon in the email, the first thing that will appear is this green tick box. If I click it twice, it will be the yellow star, three times the blue star, and four times the red exclamation mark and I can just add more things to this and rearrange them as I want. I find this one very helpful, your buttons label, you've got icons or text, and this is across the top of your email where it says things like archive or delete and labels. So if you don't understand what the icons stand for, you can just have the words by choosing text. Your signature is a very important part of your email. If you click create new, you can add the name of your signature and then create the details for your signature there. So I can put my name and I can even then add images in and things like that as well. So that's particularly useful if you've got any awards or badges you want to add to your email or the company logo. If I want more than one signature, I could create another one. And then you can choose which of your signatures are your default for new emails or which are used for reply or forwarding. When you're writing emails, you can also choose the email signature then as well. And lastly, at the bottom, I just want to show you the out of office. So if you are going on leave, you can turn your out of office on. Choose when you're going to be going on leave. and then put some subject and then put the subject in. If I then save this, this out of office won't come into effect until that date. So it is something you can do in advance before you forget. You can also select who will see you out of office, whether it's just your contacts or people within your domain. Once you're happy with any changes you make, click save changes and these will be applied. So hopefully all these settings will help you get a better handle on your Google Mail.